Hi folks, this is Liz. I'm going to teach you how to make this Thinking of You card. It's elegant and very simple. And we're going to use the new That's the Tag Stack set from Stampin' Up. And we're also going to use the die set, the matching die set that goes with this. Um, there's some butterflies here too that fell off. Okay, we're going to use this little flower right here that cuts out the flower. Now I've already done this. I've already stamped it. I have stamped three of the flowers and I colored them in. Now I stamped them with Old Olive and as you can see the lighter green in here is actually a pair of pizzazz but it was too dark when I first did it. So what I did to color in the leaves was I just scribbled the pair of pizzazz on an acrylic block like this, picked it up with the blender pen and then colored in the leaves. Now the pink and the blue flowers I colored in with Copics. Now once you stamp with a water-based marker or water-based ink you can color it with Copics and it won't blur. Now I used RV55 for the dark color and R81 for the pinks and I just went around the outside and put drew over top of the lines and I used B21 for the blue petals and B06 for the outline around the blue one. Now so that's how I did the flowers. Now we're going to take this piece, which is just a piece of smooth vanilla, or white, I mean white, ultra smooth white, and I put the Thinking of You stamp and the oval dot stamp on one acrylic block all together and just placed it in there. So you're just going to ink this and stamp it as close to the center as you can get, up toward the top of this piece of paper. Now this piece of paper is probably four and a quarter by five and a half, but we're going to cut it down. So uh, this gives you a lot of room to work with. Now I'm going to take Old Olive and I'm going to stamp this other uh, leafy vine that comes with the stamp set. And I'm going to position that so that I get a few leaves inside of the center. And I don't really care about the flower too much because I'm really going to cover it up. So now all I'm going to do is color in those leaves a little bit and I really like um, using the blender pen for this because I really don't want them too dark. And actually the old olive will blend right in there so you really don't have to um, even put very much ink on it at all. So after I get that done, the next thing is to actually glue on some flowers. I can glue on flowers. Um, the two pink ones. I'm just going to use some Tombow Mono Adhesive. I'm going to put a pink one up here toward the top and a pink one down here and kind of turn it a little bit because the blue one's going to go right in the center. But I don't want to put the blue one on yet because I did pop it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run this piece through the die cutting machine with this frame. Now this is a frame that has some stitching around the edges but it's a rectangle and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on here right as close, get it where I want it in the center and then I'm going to put some washi tape down just to hold it where I want it. If I can get it off the machine. Okay once I have a couple pieces of washi tape then I can lift it and put it right through the big shot. Um, now these larger frames. Sometimes in the big shot, and you can't see this right now, um, sometimes in the big shot they take a couple times through. So do it one way through, and I'm using the electronic big shot here, and then actually turn it the other way until you make sure that that complete frame is done before you move it. Just run it through twice. And when it comes out of your machine after going through two different ways, it should pop right out of there. Let's hopefully see it do that. The frame should come right off and then you've got these neat stitching lines all the way around it. So there's as simple as that can be. 
card from. Now, uh, I'm going to take a piece of, I'm going to mount this onto a piece of Soft Sky, which is four inches by five and a quarter. But how I, I want to pop this up, and I didn't put that blue flower on yet either, and you're wondering probably about that, what, what I was going to do with that. I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to do the pop-up flower. Just put one on the back of my blue flower and position that in here just like that so that pops up now how i like to pop up these cards is because you can go to your craft store and you get this fun foam the problem is i can't always get it in white which really is frustrating so um i have this bright green which i'm actually going to i put some double stick tape on this and just going to take it off and i'm going to stick it in the center of my off sky and then take these off I already put the tape on the back of here sometimes you have to really press down on this foam to get the double stick tape to stick to it there and then you're just going to position this centered it right over top of that just like that now that bumps up the whole front of the card which I think is really elegant now we're going to take the eight and a half by five and a half or eight and a half yeah, eight and a half by five and a half card front and we're just going to put it right on the center just like that and there's that card thanks for watching